96-year-old Ibby Neal is a Holocaust survivor who conducts public talks on her experiences. Ibby, I just wanted to um, ask you, obviously, you, you go around doing loads of different speaking engagements. Um, what sort of uh, things do you, do you talk about in those speaking engagements? Well, basically what most people want to hear about is actually my experiences during the Second World War, which included uh, underground world uh, with uh, in Hungary, and then being in Auschwitz-Birkenau, in a slave labor camp in Lippstadt, and eventually being liberated by American forces. What What are the most sort of common questions that you get asked in the uh, in the talks? You get all sorts of questions. It's uh, there aren't any typical questions, but most of the questions are really concerned with how you cope during the time with mm. it, how you manage to live day by day and still maintain hope. Mm. I, I suppose that would be my next question then. What, how, do you, how do you live with it day by day and cope? Well, basically, by the time I got caught up in all this, the Allies had landed. It was the 6th of June, and I didn't envisage how the Germans could win the war. So therefore, you just lived in hope from day by day. There was nothing you could do about yesterday. Tomorrow may not come. There was only today you had to live through and you have to try, try to make the best of today. Mm. What was the kind of the thing that helped you the most when you were there? Well, there were five of us who kept together, two doctors, a nurse, a dental technician and I, and we decided we are going to stick together and you needed friends to survive because if you didn't, you were vulnerable. And the five of us stuck together all the way and five of us were, were liberated together as well. So basically by maintaining hope, by maintaining friendships, you managed to survive. In this current climate, do you think it's more important to keep talking about it than it has been before, or is it always going to be the same amount of importance? It seems to be as if the world, or rather humanity, is going through another awful period, that unless you remind people of where um, a lack of understanding can lead, that what people shouldn't differentiate because they are of different gender or different color or different religion because under the skin we are all the same and you should uh, judge people as individuals and I think it's something that we have to bear in mind that today their extremism is cutting air again 